Cool, whenever you're ready. Okay, Ali, so it's a real pleasure to be here on another video of our Broken Remix series. And I think today we're on for technology, right? Yeah, uh, talk about trading platforms and uh, the aggregation engine and a bit, of a bit on hosting too. Yeah, so the way we've laid this out actually resembles a bit the, the, the flow of, of information. I mean, I, I guess this, this does resemble the flow. Now it does. So uh, to give a bit of background on the, on the hosting side of, it, uh, yeah. side of things, so DarwinX is a fintech, and we've got about uh, 30 people in our technology department. And uh, one of the departments, uh, one of the teams, is looking at making sure that our infrastructure, which processes tens of billions of, of months uh, of, of, of flow per month, uh, never goes down, and that's uh, 24 or 5, because uh, otherwise we get, uh, we get trouble. <laughs> um, yeah. So we, we uh, all our, our entire infrastructure is hosted in the cloud. Uh, part of it is uh, with Amazon Web Services. This is Amazon Web Services. Basically, Amazon Web Services is the engine that powers the internet explosion. So Mr. Bezos, who's a seriously clever guy, realized that the, since he was paying a pretty penny for hosting, he was acquiring a lot of know-how for hosting. And he decided to make the, that know-how commercially available to third parties. And that's what enabled people like us to enjoy uh, the basically the, the, the core tech stack on which Amazon is built. Okay, so uh, we'd have to speak to our network guys to understand exactly which bits of all this thing we, we use. But essentially, what Amazon Web Services does is offer us, uh, they lease us machines on demand so that no matter how big the sky the, the spike in, in in network resources that we require it's always there so that customers never go unserviced okay so that's the the basic stack that powers all this so if you come into your darwin x interface <laughs> going to I'm, my darwin x account yeah okay <laughs> yeah as you're going into Ali's uh, uh, darwin x account you know, there's you can clearly see, no you security know, breach in mine anyway, so. no, no security <laughs> breach I mean, this, is, this is uh mutually agreed so all this <laughs> thing uh like the web services that basically what you see is powered from servers that are with amazon web services okay so that's that's part one of the stack the other part of the stack is the trader sensitive elements so like what, what's what's actually going to market so what is equinix equinix is another competitor i guess of amazon web services uh who are specialized in hosting in the cloud in co-location co-located and interconnected services what does this mean well when we're trying to hit the market and i come back to that we are connected to the infrastructure stack of our prime brokers who are in turn connected to the 2025 liquidity providers who stream prices with tons of bandwidth, uh, like thousands of times per second. Okay, so uh, that infrastructure is has to be extremely resilient. And also a lot of people co-locate, meaning everybody puts their servers in the same place. And actually physically, if you go into those racks, what you'd see is that, you know, there'll be like the 30, computers that are connected there, namely the computer that receives the prices from the 20 liquidity providers and sends back orders to those 20 liquidity providers, those are all connected by uh, um, what's it called, an optical data cable that uh, all of which are actually equally long. So you could have two racks sitting physically next to each other and they would be connected by a 25 meter cable if that's what it takes so that all the computers are connected to each other by an equally long cable so that no one has an edge over anyone else. And and, and okay. for, I think this would be a good good point to go back to that screen and um, of Equinix and yeah. sort of shed light on what this means for clients of ours and uh, how Darwin X, what does co-location mean to a Darwin X client? Uh, why is this relevant? Uh, let me see if I find some diagram here that outlines this. Uh, this is like done on, on the spot. Uh, yeah, yeah, any one of those really, something like that could make sense. So Yeah, so this would be like a... So uh, one of those... A few of those nodes they, are Darwin X. A lot of those nodes are 
yeah so let's just see if we can well uh, anyways so let's just make this bigger hopefully yeah so like these are the racks and yep. one of these computers in one of these racks is darwin x and then somewhere here maybe there are like the 25 liquidity providers so there's a, a the whole bunch of cables that you don't see which would connect darwin x through an equally long cable to each of those liquidity providers so that none of them has an edge over the others in terms of providing pricing so that we receive the signal of the price that was streamed picoseconds or whatever from those mm -hmm. guys uh, ago at the same price so that we can aggregate the best price from them. Okay, that's that's really that's the, what this the idea. means to our clients, yeah. Yeah, and then coming back to this place, basically what we just saw is the LD4 Equinix Center, which is basically uh, somewhere in London. Now we have other identical um, infrastructure deployed in Tokyo and in New York, and there are well, co uh, consistent, you know, what, what do you call it? Um, emergency workflows that make sure if something goes, you know, tits up <laughs> with the London center, the thing are switched over as quickly as possible to the Tokyo backup so that we resume service without anybody having trouble at any point in time. Um, that's that's basically the, the idea. So this infrastructure is extremely expensive because you know we're talking about piccadilly circuits in computer world here or uh you know uh, whatever you know, the, the hottest real estate that you can think of mm -hmm. everybody wants to be here so you know that getting the same computer here that you would have at amazon web services costs uh, a multiple and when i mean a multiple i mean a multiple of the of the price uh of course there's all you, you would expect that you know this thing cannot burn this thing is you know uh, super secure uh, it's probably safer than in many cases, to be honest, than than the the, the Bank of New York <laughs> and the, or the Federal Reserve, uh -huh. and in New York, as you know, if you break into here, then you can create serious trouble for yeah. the world's financial system. Uh, there was this notion of a guy leaving a Coke can on top of a server rack in Bloomberg and Bloomberg going down for a couple of days, and this is not a joke; it did happen a couple Goodness. of years ago. <laughs> um, wow. Um, so, so that's that. Uh, we've talked about the, the web, like our general web stack, which is on Amazon Web Services. We talked now about our trading sensitive stack, which mm -hmm. is on, on Equinix. Equinix yep. and, and then, um, so we're going to talk now from the customer facing end of the stick, which is MT4. So the, the broad thing that happens is that uh, our MT4 server is hosted within Equinix. And then our user would connect to it somewhere either on the broader internet or there are people like uh, VPS providers. What, what's our, ours called? Uh, I uh, Beaks. It. Uh, Beaks. Beaks. Beaks FX. Beaks Financial Services or something. Beaks Financial, uh, Beaks Financial Cloud. That's it. Beaks Financial Cloud. That's the one. Any MP4 broker. So what these guys do is they would be... Uh, now I need to go to the uh, server co-location diagram thing again. Uh, images, this is the one we chose. Yeah. So again, one of these racks, you could rent for your virtual private server here, and that one would also be co-located with our thing. So it would be within the, the perimeter, meaning it would enjoy the same guarantees of stability and it would travel the shortest possible time to ping the server to, to trade. So, uh, and you could put your MP4 algo to run there, or you could have your MP4 running on your own platform at home, in which case it will travel through the internet. I mean, in, I don't want people to go crazy because the latency is, is minimal. And for the kind of trading that our customers do, mm. it, you know, having your MP4 hosted at home is probably as good as anything else, but that's how it would work. Okay. So uh, our MP4 server would be hosted on the Equinix rack. The MP4 terminal will be hosted at, you know your computer at your home and then you'll be connected to your broadband connection with us uh, or you, on a virtual send, private server on a vps server. or on a virtual private server so we basically we send you prices uh, to show on your screen or for you to record on your vps and then you send us orders okay same goes if you're connected through an mt4 terminal or a fixed connector or potentially through a trader workstation whenever our interactive focus integration is done okay so that's with the that's the trading platform layer and then the question is, how does information flow? So prices will go from the, say, 
Citadel, which is one of the non-banking LPs, at LD4. So the price leaves the Citadel LD4 rack, goes to the prime broker, our prime broker's rack in, in LD4, we then, which then streams onto our bridge, which I'll show you in a second, mm -hmm. which receives the prices, prime XM. The bridge then streams onto MT4 server, which then streams to your MT4 terminal or BPS. And then if you choose to trade, then it's all the other way around. So it leaves your MT4 terminal, it goes to our MT4 server, which routes to the uh, bridge, which connects the MT4 server via LD4 onto the liquidity providers, which then receive your order, fill it, and then we get a confirmation. So there's information traveling back and forth. Okay. And all of this happens <laughs> exactly. really, really fast. And this, this, all this, this happens, uh, you know, in, in milli microseconds actually. Microseconds, um, yes. Okay. So uh, the other important piece of technology which we haven't talked about is this bridge, which I'm going to show you a screen of. Uh, our, we, in this case, we use Prime Exam and One Zero. So in in this bridge, what we see is so you're actually logged four, in, right? I am actually logged in. Yeah, okay. this is the real thing. And if I click something here, it's major trouble. This um, is really great because so, because um, clients don't have visibility over these things, so it's it's nice no, that no, we're no, able no. to show this sort of stuff. Yeah. So uh, nice. basically, in the operational this is den of, here, folks. This is the this is like the, the 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 proper engine. Okay. So this is the liquidity pool that is the investor. Like for our investors, the part that's routed to Saxo, you know, that, that's kind of how this would be configured. And we can configure the way the whole thing executes, limits, filters, uh, you know, that there's lots of mumbo jumbo I'm not going to go into, but uh, there's an API to control all this. And our operations department does this 24 five, because this place you touch something <laughs> and you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm big actually gonna log out of it. The, yeah, it's a big consequence that you could reasonably, you could fuck up big time very, very quickly. <laughs> so go. I'm out of it now. It <laughs> so feel, feels much better. Nervous. I was, I was yeah, getting anxious just better. looking at it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's the sort of thing that if I do something like this, then somebody will be rightfully very angry at me. Um, <laughs> so so that's basically our, our own technology stack. Mm -hmm. And if uh, anybody has any questions specifically on this, we will be very happy to try and engage with uh, the topics that come up. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Juan. A pleasure.